Hello everyone, I'm Fuse from Exile. This is Attacks in Exile, and today we have a war recap of Exiled Warlords against the clan. Hells yeah, we gem. You think these guys gem? E yeah, yeah, they, they do. We're gonna start today with a flood by Trey, aka I'm too much for you. He quakes his way into the core, takes out the dragon, and by now his skellies are running all over the place. He's got to be extra careful here because he's going in on the side with the multi-target Inferno. That means he's going to need to freeze it because if it locks onto his witches, that could be trouble. There goes the Town Hall and 50% for two stars. Great job, Trey. Next up is Doodle with a five golem go wipe. He does a great job here with the jump spell placement, putting them in the perfect position to get across two layers of walls. When the two walls are so far away from each other, it takes a precision drop to make this work. And he does it. Your golems, pekkas, and heroes serve as tanks to soak up the inferno fire. You want to get them ahead of the other troops so that when they get near the infernos, your more fragile troops won't get killed off so quickly. In this case, wizards. Nice job, Doodle. Next up is Spaceball with a Go Lava Loon. The objective here in the ground portion of the attack is to take out the Archer Queen and an Air Defense, along with the Clan Castle troops, of course. Now it's time to get the air attack underway. Air targeting defenses are now all gone, and all he has to do is clean up the rest. Great job, Spaceball. Now it's Tadao's turn with a go we wipe this time on a Town Hall 9. I guess he still needs to learn a little bit about funneling and P.E.K.K.A behavior. If you give him an option, Pekka's will always circle the base.
With his main attack force cutting its way through the core, and the P.E.K.K.A.s cleaning up the outside, there's going to be nothing left. Great job, Tad. Now it's time for Ian with a Goho Wiz. Remember, an archer queen can stop a hog attack dead in its tracks. That's why he goes in now from the archer queen's side. The objective is to take her out. With the Archer Queen down, he begins to send in his hogs. Very nicely done, Ian. Gohos are always fun to watch. It's Tadao again with a Go Wipe. He quickly dispatches the Archer Queen and the clan castle troops. Very nicely done, Tadao, and great job on a six-star war. Dark Knight is up next, this time with a Lava Lunion. Neither balloons nor Lava Hounds will protect themselves against a dragon which makes it extremely important that that dragon gets killed.
that last archer tower dropped, all the threats are gone. Great job, DK. Now it's time for Breda Kanaka and a go wee wee. Nice one, brother. Now we've got Mythical Sim with a Balloonion. That's an old fashioned attack, no lava hounds here, just balloons and minions. He sends in a couple balloons to lure the clan castle, but nothing comes out. That probably means there's a lava hound in there. And that means as long as he can take the clan castle down before he deploys his heroes, it's not even a factor. Good job, Sim. Now we're back to Breda with another Go Wee Wee. It's very thoughtful of these guys when they put a structure out in the corner like a builder's hut to give us a nice place to kill the dragon.
Another great job, brother. Six star war for you. And now it's Dick with the hugs. He lures and kills the clan castle dragon and balloon, and then he sends in the hogs. The defenses are down in no time flat, and it's time to clean up. Great job, Dick. Now it's my turn on my second account. Dick and TY didn't think I could use dragons on this base. Let's see how it worked out. Two lightnings and an earthquake take out the air defense. Notice the position of the air sweeper and the remaining two air defenses. That's why I chose that air defense to take out first, and that's why I'm attacking from the opposite side. If you don't pay attention to those details, a three-star attack could very easily turn into a two-star attack. Notice how I create a funnel in order to send the dragons toward the core of the base in order to get to the air defense. As soon as dragons are within range of the air defense, it's time to release the balloons and then rage them. That's called taking the boys to dragon school. Now we've got Centali with another dragon attack. She uses the same technique of eliminating an air defense which will allow her to attack from behind the air sweeper. With this base being as square and compact as it is, she doesn't even have to funnel. Great job, Centali. Now we've got Emmy with hugs. This is a cleanup attack and he knows there are double giant bombs in the center. He attacks from an angle which allows him to hit only one bomb at a time.
Great job, Emmy. Next up is Ty with a go wipe. Of course, the P.E.K.K.A. is circling the base. They love to do that. Great job, Ty. That's the end of this episode. Thanks again for watching.